clear eater with run blog run and this morning at the TRA 2016 where was Simon Bortold who is the director of strategic planning at Solomon and you've been there now two years two years and, two years uh, in wonderful France one of these days we're gonna come over and visit you in France you because, definitely should you know um, <coughs> I hear it's, a, it's the only part of France that I have not been to so uh, I'm looking forward to that but what we're going to talk about today in this segment is what's going on with Solomon product and you're going to show us a few products and kind of tell us I am. I am. So we've got uh, we've got two shoes here to show you this morning, Larry. Um, we've got this wonderful shoe, which is called the uh, the Sonic Pro, mm -hmm. and this is a shoe that's really designed. It's a fully featured running shoe. Okay. It's designed, um, I think, for people who want to go faster and maybe for tempo runs. Um, we we have an interesting um, program called the Running Program, which is based on on our thought process that runners are not static. So in other words, as you start off as a novice runner, you probably uh, will lose weight, you'll probably develop some strength, uh, you'll improve your technique, and therefore you sh your shoe selection should, should evolve as the runner evolves. I really like that when you were discussing that yesterday. <coughs> I think it makes a whole lot of sense. And normally you're a kind of a contrarian. Yeah. That kind of scared me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, you know, we, we kind of feel it's all a bit boxed in with the, with the current segmentation and, mm -hmm. and it doesn't fit the science very well either. So. We really like this concept of the running avenue, so and it gives the. I like it because it gives a, it's it's a better connection between the consumer and retail. Uh, sure. The the consumer is a bit more empowered to make a choice on where they want to go with their sport. So I really like that. And you have two shoes in that group right now. So at the moment we have the, it, we have two shoes in that range. Okay. Um, in 2018 we'll have three shoes, and that will be the complete range because we're trying to keep it very simple and tell stories of three. I like so, that. So so basically we've got this shoe, which is the Sonic, and this is what we call the entry into the avenue. Okay. So this is a shoe, it's pretty hard to make a mistake with this shoe. Um, uh, it's a uh, it's very full featured shoe, it has a number of um, technical features we'll discuss in a moment, but this is kind of the go-to shoe. So if you're, not, if you're not quite sure, pretty hard to make an error with this shoe. And then if you, uh, you're developing as a runner and you might want to um, introduce some tempo or go a bit faster or perhaps even race, sure. then you'll move into this shoe which is the Sonic Pro. It's on a slightly lower drop. Um, it, 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 uh, it's substantially lighter, although this is pretty light at 285 grams, whatever that is in ounces, I yeah. don't know. Um, but this is pretty light shoe. It's got a little bit more flexibility and it's a little bit more focused on the athlete who might be a bit further forward on their foot, which is what we know happens when you go faster. Mm -hmm. 